Hello YouTube, welcome to another uh, Seed of Andromeda update. This week I was a little behind schedule, so I don't have a whole lot to show you, but I do have some things I can talk about. Um, first, right off the bat, I will show you kind of what I'm doing with the tree system. Here's a ginormous tree. Uh, I know it looks really weird. Uh, I just kind of picked some random parameters and ended up with this. Uh, the design team is actually going to be designing most of the trees and flora. Uh, right now I'm just using these as placeholders um, while I design the tree system. I'm, I'm doing a whole lot of changes. I actually ripped out all of the tree code um, and I'm redoing it to make it a lot more moddable and a lot more uh, changeable for the design team so that they can come in and actually start shaping the world so I don't have to do everything myself. Um, right now there's only three tree types because I removed all previous tree types and I've pretty much started over and they are not very good trees uh, but there are now 21 variables that the user can change that are just basically in text files in the world file. Um, and these 21 variables influence what the tree looks like. Um, and I'm going to be adding more variables and making it a lot more complex uh, so that you can pretty much design everything about a tree just by changing some parameters around. Um, and in the future this is going to apply to a whole lot of things like caves and, and the possibly the entire world will be just Hard, or will just be in text files so that people can change them and so that people can make their own mod packs and things like that. I'll try to make it as mod friendly as possible. Also, um, we have changes in the cave department. Um, first, you'll notice these very ugly blue uh, blocks. This is sort of a placeholder. It's sort of just a concept idea of um, crystal formations. Um, it looks quite bad right now and it definitely needs some work. but basically I can have sort of crystal formations and probably stalactites and stalagmites using the same algorithm or a similar algorithm um, and uh, so tell me what you guys think I know they don't look good but um, as far as the concept goes we could have you know red crystals blue crystals and they wouldn't be in every cave they would be distributed randomly also you probably already noticed I'm actually in an ice cave uh, if you are in a snow biome or just anywhere where the temperature is freezing uh, ice blocks will spawn oops uh, ice blocks will spawn on the inside of the cave and right now they behave like snow blocks but they they shouldn't they should be solid um, and that's that's pretty much it ice caves are just basically normal caves but ice nothing really special there uh, there will need to be a little more complexity with the ice caves for instance at a certain depth they shouldn't really be ice caves anymore um, but in this circumstance they are uh, just because the system itself is very new for the ice caves. Uh, let me knock this tree down just so you guys can see some more physics. I know you guys love seeing the physics and here we go. Boom. That's gonna that would take forever to mine up. <laughs> I'm gonna need to definitely make um, in game ways to mine up this wood faster or you'll just have to do it with a bunch of your friends oh that's annoying anyways uh, what else what else did I do we got ice caves we got crystal formations we got trees that is pretty much it I'm really behind schedule uh, this week uh, I know scuttles has some textures I didn't get them in time to put them in the video uh, but he did make the clouds look a lot better and um, as soon as we have alpha blending in the clouds it'll probably look even better but um, as far as future updates uh, go, next week I'm going out of town uh, starting uh, Wednesday until I think the 8th or 9th of July. Uh, and I'll be in Texas with my family so I won't have a whole lot of time to work on the game. But stay tuned. I will put out a video even if there isn't anything to show. I'll at least talk about something or maybe show you guys some physics. Um, so the updates will probably be pretty slow for the next week or two. Um, but if I can finish this tree system in the next few days... Uh, I'll be working hard on it and probably tweaking the biome system as well. I'll have my design team start getting to work, uh, making all the different trees and biomes and all that so that the world looks much prettier. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and be sure to like if you like the video or dislike if you don't. All right. Goodbye.